Welcome back to the Hello darkness, my old friend I've come to talk with you again Welcome back to Detour and Tricks and DIY. As I mentioned, the channel is cancelled like I said last year. I'm really doing puppies now. This is actually a full-time Whippet channel. Brought to you by Super Clean Puppies. Now, but in all seriousness, I am glad to announce me and Super Clean have partnered up. We are now at 950 subscribers on the channel. Thank you so much to everybody who subscribed. It's been a long road for me. I think I created the channel the end of 2014. So, uh... Yeah, it's been a long road. <laughs> I actually surpassed 300,000 views as well. So pretty big to, pretty big numbers for the channel. Pretty exciting to see. And I got a ton more things to come up. Uh, I wanted to mention, I was going to do a 1,000 subscriber giveaway, but because I've been so busy, I will pan over and show you. You can see a little bit of what's poking out here. I have a lot of things coming up soon. But I did want to bring up... What you can win with this 1100 subscriber giveaway from Super Clean. Here are some of the great supplies that you'll be winning. You could see our last winner here from the 500 subscriber giveaway. APJ was the winner there. All of his goodies and everything. This is some of the best stuff you'll find. Not only is it a great degreaser, it is awesome on terrible, nasty projects. Automotive spills, I mean, automotive projects, greasy, nasty engine bays you might need to clean out. Literally, ovens. I destroyed my oven in, in a super clean review video you should check out that I did a couple years ago. And man, it cleaned it up so easy. Just took an old sponge I was going to throw away anyways and some super clean and just some old elbow grease and everything came right off. No problems at all. This is my go-to cleaner. Something you guys should check out. Hit them up on YouTube. For this video, in this contest, what we will do is the fairest way to win any random comment I found an actual website that will pull comments just from a link so it will be a random comment generator and just leave whatever you want you have to be in the US to win and the contest does close at 1100 subscribers I will be announcing the winner and uh, whoever's comment wins I'll comment there too so don't forget to like and subscribe this video guys and doing that will get you entered into the video now as awesome as super clean is, I did want to do a channel update just because it seems like the right thing to do. I don't want to, you know, don't want to leave you guys hanging. I did not upload for a long time and I am on a roll, so I want to keep that going. Now, our forerunner, I've actually already have a video on. I, I did a lot of the most common problems you'll find with them and things like that. Um, <laughs> the list has gotten a lot bigger. Uh, we have, but I, you know, I just want to show you guys what's coming up. I found my EVAP issue. As you can see, we have a bit of a rust issue on the car. We have a bit of melty issue. We have a bit of melty issue. These are EVAP lines. This is what goes to the canister. Part of the canister was melted. We have another bad valve that got melted here, you can see. So now I have a junkyard kit with only 130,000 miles. This one has 230,000 miles over that, actually. We just hit 232,000 miles on our Forerunner. So we're going to swap this out. That one actually wouldn't be bad if it didn't get melted. Kind of going over a lot of the Forerunner uh, common issues you're going to run into, especially in today's you know car market. <laughs> you're going to be buying something used. You're going to run into problems just like this. A lot more fun stuff like more uh, EVAP, OEM Toyota EVAP replacements, all this goody stuff. So we'll get that out of the way. And of course... On a car that has 230,000 miles, you're going to be expecting to get into doing suspension. So we got sway bar end links. I got, well, this one isn't open, but all good Moog stuff. I know Moog isn't got the best reputation in other sway bar end link that it used to have. But honestly, this stuff is a lot better than Toyota's OEM. And I'm pretty excited to get it in. The car is kind of floating. <laughs> It's not really that cool. And as a suspension clunk, I'm very suspicious it might be these. The bushings, I mean. So, yep. A lot of fun to come up on the Forerunner. If you like car stuff, I'll be covering you there. Uh, in my last video, we did all new brakes with ceramics all around. Found some not that great stuff as usual. 
when somebody pays their mechanic friend, usually it's uh, not done right. But uh, we did terminals and a, a few other odds and ends. Um, serpentine belt. I think that might have been it. And I ran out of time. But yeah, I do have everything here for this job. And our, oh yeah, and I have so I dug into the EVAP here. And we'll paint around and I will show you. Behold, my collection. <laughs> the past couple months, uh, not only was I pretty sick in the beginning of this year, but I have been heavily looking for just anything I've put a few dollars into. Uh, my little black and purple GT outpost over here on the end. That, oh wow, somebody's peeling wheels out there. Uh, this was a freebie somebody across the street just had out on the sidewalk. That Cannondale I got from a family member, another abandoned bike, this uh, road bike up here. And I have a Schwinn with this tealish bar tape over here. I don't want to tell you too much about everything because, you know, I want you to watch the videos, of course. But those are three abandoned bike projects that I have with, as of today, I have everything to put the two road bikes together. The mountain bike, I'm almost positive of everything. I might get some shifters for that undecided. We'll get back to that. That one's kind of my, like... I guess uh, you'd call it a pub bike or a grocery getter kind of thing. I got a trailer too that I couldn't fit into this whole big, uh, well, whole very small area with tons of big bikes all around. But uh, yeah, so that one's kind of my, my uh, you know, dumpster build, as I would say. But it's kind of, I like those, you know, those are kind of fun videos to make. But on the other end, I do have some very, very, very high end stuff. You may notice this is a set of Cartman wheels, very cool, vintage mountain bike stuff. I have disc wheels down here on a Cannondale mountain bike. I have another Cannondale in the back. I don't want to talk too much about the remaining other bikes. And I have, sadly, we got rid of our Nishiki. That is actually, a, I did a part one and part two build on. We went deep on that bike. That was a very cool Dick Sporting Good bike that they still sell to this day for, it's like five, 600 bucks, something like that. We swapped out a carbon fork on that bike from a felt video I did. Put in, it had a steel fork on it. Uh, new cassette, new chain. I did an 1132 on the back. Basically tore all the new cables down and redid them all again. Yada, yada, yada. Anyways, great video though. And sadly we have replaced it. Not really sadly, because this is an awesome bike. Uh, my wife now is a proud owner of a Trek Madone. So this is hers and as you can see, Honestly, this is still the original bar tape on it. This bike hasn't been ridden a whole lot. The, the actual braking track shows almost nowhere. It's kind of crazy. We got it for a very, very, very lucky deal. To, especially for our area, in the New England area where I'm at right now. Uh, it's hard to find good deals. And we got a bunch of fun new stuff. Got some lizard skin, some Jaguar. This is actual Jaguar colored. Uh, it's, uh, what's that color Bianchi has? Uh, Celeste. So it's actually Celeste color to match. This is teal, but nah, whatever, close enough. Very cool bike. That one is gonna be, another one we have here too is Specialized. This is actually Carbon. Uh, yeah, and I said I don't wanna talk too much about the rest of them because there's a secret. I have a big secret, and if somebody can point it out, you should, you should be able to see enough here to predict what's coming, but uh, yeah, I got a lot of fun stuff coming up, and uh, this other, actually I have another Nishiki, I could talk about that. Very cool blue bike great commuter one that's actually coming out in my I think in my next video or the one after that because uh, this one's already all ready to go so thank you for watching guys thank you for clicking subscribe thank you for all the views 300,000 views I mean that's insane for you know somebody that has stuck to a small room like this and has been doing their channel out of their own pocket for five six seven years now so I really do appreciate the views and all the likes and commenting with everybody. I always try to hit everybody back in the comments all the time. You know, it's always fun to talk to you guys. Always good to hear the nice words and appreciation for the, the DIY videos and stuff like that. And if you did want to buy me a coffee or you needed some help planning a build or you want me to help you sell your bike, so anything like that, I have a Patreon. You could check me out there. Here, I'll, I'll have the link to that in the description. Uh, you know, just check it out. If you want to help me out, go straight to the channel help me get better videos out for you guys too. So thank you again. Have a good one guys. Peace. We're out.